Hello, uh, Alist Cat here to demonstrate something that I found very surprising today. So when I first got Bitwig, I, you know, immediately plugged in my various off-board MIDI gear and uh, discovered my nano control no longer worked in the way to which I was accustomed. Uh, meaning that, you know, when I hit my sliders and such, the, as you can see, the tracks did not respond appropriately, so I thought, oh no, this is all broken. What am I to do? Um, so it took a little bit of, of fiddling out, and it turns out that my nano control has been made into something exponentially more useful by virtue of the Bitwig uh, JavaScript MIDI API, which is incredibly powerful. Um, this is just kind of diving into what is possible with your existing MIDI equipment that was not intended by the creators. So uh, let's just kind of jump right into this here. So we can still kind of cycle through tracks. As you can see, uh, you know, we can select our different tracks through our project. So there is still some, some of that, you know, navigatable essence and we can stop and record and all that good stuff. Um, but what this is really nice for is controlling parameters. So it turns out that they have, it's hard to explain, I haven't fully wrapped my head around it, but there's kind of two sets of what they call rainbow knobs. Um, they're indicated by these uh, little colored dashes on, on almost everywhere you find in the interface. And so what this means is that um, my controller here has been designated as a macro controlling surface. So it has uh, two different kind of modes that are just kind of default. Uh, there is the, if you flick the slider, you can see that my kind of, you know, generic overall assignable parameter here is, you know, modulating its own funky little way. But then if I twiddle a knob, it will adjust a parameter on the page. So, I mean, this is just, you know, really cool because I, did, I haven't mapped anything. This is all straight out of the box. Um, so, I mean... Doesn't that sound sweet? Yeah, who, who needs LFOs, you know? So anyway, um, I, I can change parameters automatically, but then as I switch through, you see, I just switched to another track here, and it pulls up a new set of rainbow dials. So, you know, after your, you know, muscle memory gets good enough, you can just go through these things. Oh wait, this isn't mixed in yet, hold on. So yeah, you just, you just, okay, so we go switch, switch off the filter. I mean, we switch back to our other oscillator. I, I took apart my uh, studio a little bit so I could shoot this video because I don't have the vertical depth to show you the nano controls, I just want to, that's why things are falling around everywhere. So I'm sure many of you are in a similar boat. So, fucking cool, right? Check this out. This is like where it gets ridiculous. I haven't touched, pretend I haven't touched the mouse because I really haven't to do all this patch modulation to make this thing happen. Okay, but we have the issue of our 
uh, kind of macro controls here. You know, it's like, okay, well, what do we do? What do we do with these? So we hit our little M button here, and it's toggled the you know, assign this switch to a parameter. So I can go up here and you know change a couple aspects in you know OS one, change a couple aspects in OS two, and you know, if I didn't have to hold the thing, I would try to play it as I was doing this to make it a little more aesthetically appealing, but we'll just see what happens um, and trust that you know something interesting might occur. So I mean... So that's just one. That's just one of my controllers. So we can go back to our other one, make some more little modifications. You know, let's, let's not even like think about it. Let's just, you know, do a bunch of randomness. And, you know, we can, you know, make stuff cool <laughs> without having to try too hard. So, I mean, that's just fucking cool. Like, hands-free, you know, repurposing of my existing device to make music. I mean, it's, this is just like the tip of the iceberg, guys, and uh, I'm really excited about this. I, my, my jaw literally, like, hit the floor, and I wrote Bitwig messages of love, because this, this is... Amazing, <laughs> um, and then of course yeah, we can we can scroll through patches like this with uh, these little buttons, and it's kind of cool. We can kind of filter down to you know a certain a certain type of patch, and uh, or even like a certain author, um, which is cool because I kind of don't like presets, so I wanted to stick with my own presets. So I mean, yeah, that's just, it's just freakishly awesome. And, you know, as an extra surprise, they, so it comes in this wonderful, they call it device mode default, um, to let you control all this stuff, but then you hit the cycle button and you get your mixer back. You get all this, so, so, so worry not, you know, your device has been extended in usefulness tremendously. So, uh, thanks Bitwig, you guys are amazing, um, more of these coming guys, keep commenting, I, I will try to do them as time permits, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to continuing on this journey, so thanks and uh, take it easy.